Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Only Bio. Continuing with the revision of the chapter Biotechnology. Friends, these are the important points from Biotechnology and this is the fourth video of the same. Uh, the Hindi version of the same has already been released. Uh, so those who want to view the Hindi version of it also may watch that particular video. And please uh, hang on to the series because there are lots and lots of uh, parts which have been made for this particular chapter. So please do keep a check on the playlist. So let's understand the structure of DNA. Friends, on the right hand side, you can see one picture of the DNA double helix for your reference. So we're talking about the Watson and Crick model of DNA double helix. According to this model, DNA usually has a double-stranded structure in which two strands are held together by hydrogen bonding between the two bases of each nucleotide pair in the core of stacked base pairs. Now, what does it mean? It simply means that each DNA molecule has two strands, that is chains, which are bonded with each other by means of the hydrogen bonds that exist between the two bases of the nucleotide pairs. In simple words, you can imagine that, imagine a ladder in which the sides of the ladder can be compared to the two DNA strands, right? And these are made up of sugars and phosphates, whereas the steps in the ladder are made up of nitrogen bases which pair with each other by means of hydrogen bonding. DNA is a complex macromolecule DNA is a long chain of polymer composed of units called as nucleotides. We call them as deoxyribonucleotides. Each nucleotide in turn is composed of three subunits. First, pentose sugar. Second, phosphoric acid. Third, nitrogen bases. Friends, it's called as a pentose sugar because it's a sugar made up of five carbon atoms. And the detailed structure of the nucleotide has been done in the earlier video. Friends, on the right hand side, you can see another picture of the DNA molecule. So let's start with the structure of DNA here. The first unit being that of the pentose sugar. The pentose sugar of DNA nucleotide is deoxyribose, which is C5H10O4. But obvious, in case of RNA, the sugar that is present is ribose. Second is phosphoric acid. It has one central phosphorus with four oxygen atoms. Third, nitrogen bases. These are of two types. First, two purines namely adenine and guanine. And second, two pyrimidines namely cytosine and thymine. The chains are made up of many nucleotides and hence it is called as a polynucleotide chain. Friends, on the right hand side you can again see a beautiful picture of the double helix which we are talking about. The nucleotide strands are highly coiled forming a double helix which is right handed that is clockwise. You can see it is a clockwise yeah, right side direction. The polynucleotide strands lie in anti-parallel direction, that is head to tail position. This means that carbon at number 5 position in pentose sugar molecule lies in one direction, that is 3 dash, 5 dash in one strand and in opposite direction in the other strand. A very, very important point. Friends, on one strand, that is on one chain, the, the sugar or the pentose sugar, the deoxyribose sugar, which is at the extreme end, we see that the third carbon is open, rather it's not connected. So that becomes a three dash direction. And on the same strand towards the lower direction, we find that it is five dash. And on the opposite strand, it is exactly the opposite direction, your orientation of the pentose sugar molecules. That's the reason we say that the two strands are anti-parallel in nature. The DNA molecule is polarized, that is one of the polynucleotide chains runs in 3 dash 5 dash direction and another in 5 dash 3 dash direction. Thus each strand it shows polarity. Friends here polarity is nothing but a direction. 
footprints you can see again the dna strand which has been beautifully depicted here and you can also see an rna strand just to compare with it so the dna double helix shows a shallow that is minor groove which is 12 armstrong units and the deep groove that is major groove which is 22 armstrong unit across friends one armstrong unit is 1 by 10000 microns and 1 micron is equal to 1 by 1000 millimeters the purin and pyrimidine bases are on the inside of the helix forming the steps of the ladder these steps are formed of pair nitrogen bases linked by weak hydrogen bonds as i've already mentioned this and the pairing takes place between purin and pyrimidine bases friends this means that on one strand if there is a purin say for example adenine on the opposite side there would be thymine which is a pyrimidine similarly if at all on one strand we have guanine that's a purin on the opposite strand exactly opposite to it is going to be cytosine which is a pyrimidine the bases of the two chains are complementary to each other adenine is paired with thymine by two weak hydrogen bonds and guanine is paired with cytosine by three weak hydrogen bonds thus in a dna molecule total purin contents are always equivalent to total pyrimidine contents in other words they are equal so the total number of purins is equal to total number of pyrimidines the planes of bases are nearly at right angles to the helix axis the diameter of the helix is always 20 armstrong units friends these dimensions are worth remembering because they are often asked in different competitive exams so it's uh, worth noting i would suggest friends on the screen you can see the bonds which exist between adenine thymine as a double weak hydrogen bonds here we it has been depicted by two dotted lines and guanine and cytosine by three dotted lines so adjacent bases are separated by 3.4 armstrong units along the axis there are 10 base pairs in one turn that is guy thus helix completes one turn at 34 armstrong units friends because one nitrogen uh, i mean one base pair is separated from the other by 3.4 armstrong units so 3.4 into 10 is obviously 34 armstrong units this is the reason why we say there are 10 base pairs and the helix completes one turn at 34 armstrong units friends again this is important to know because at times there are few numericals asked on this particular concept friends i hope you like the series please subscribe if you haven't yet done so and please hit the bell icon and hang on with me for many more videos thank you so much